Hi guys. Um, first, I want to thank everybody for their questions. I feel honored to be someone you want to ask uh, questions and want to get to know. Uh, that's pretty pretty special to me. So, uh, f in this video, I'm unwrapping um, my Panduro package. I've been uh, wanting this light table for a long while and uh, now it's finally here I first I um, I had this big and lumpy and heavy light table um, <clears throat> and uh, now it's uh, <laughs> it's in lead uh, and it, it don't get warm the first one I had got really warm <clears throat> so I simply love this uh, and um, I don't have to stand by the window and uh, transfer my drawings um, and unwrapping this one it was such a little delight I love it um, it works re uh, really well uh, it don't show that well on the video, but it's uh, perfect, just what I need. Um, I also ordered uh, some Micron Pigma pens, um, Sapia 005 and Black 003. Didn't really know that they had this smaller tip, but uh, that's just super, I love it. Uh, you're gonna see it a bit later in this drawing um, now I'm transferring and uh, I remember the last one it got really hot and this just keeps cool uh, all the way so yay I'm really satisfied with it um, while I'm answering this is a Q&A uh, questions and answers kind of video so while, while I answer your questions I'll be painting this uh, fairy's den piece um, mushroom house uh, I did the sketch last year and um, so it's time to paint it and I uh, know with my new light table I can easy, easily transfer it as I told you, I had this big and heavy table before that got very hot, so I'm very excited about this new LED light and very thin um, light table. The first uh, question that I got was from Susan Joel uh, on YouTube, and um, I'm uh, Just gonna find it here. <laughs> Have you had any formal art training? And um, well, I had. I went for two years in art and drawing high school. Other than that, I have uh, gone some courses, but <clears throat> mainly self-taught. Uh, recently, I went to. Um, one uh, one year to learn classic uh, figuration in oils a technique from the 1800s and that if you saw my noodle stand with colors uh, the boys my boys <laughs> i painted them in this uh, technique in this style classes uh, classic figuration i love that uh, i always uh, loved looking at um, those kind of uh, art uh, pieces and um, it was uh, it was a thrill to learn how to do it learn skin color in oils it's just magnificent um, the second and uh, question I got was uh, kind of uh, long <laughs> But that's uh, just perfect. Um, Catherine Nugel, Nugel, or yeah, I'm 
terrible with names in other languages, I'm sorry. Um, uh, she um, wrote, I'd like to hear about how you learn to paint and draw. Um, I enjoyed seeing your other work and would love to see more. I've even I've seen other artists do sketchbook flip throughs. That would be fun too. And <clears throat> I'm going to do that, but not this video. Uh, also, what inspires you? Uh, I'm going to answer the first questions first. Um, how you learn how to paint and draw? Um, I um, answered maybe maybe that uh, with the questions before. Um, um, I. Uh, but I drew a lot of years before I started high school, of course. I drew in pre uh, what's it called? Um, primary school <clears throat> or before that as well. But <clears throat> um, I'm very much self-taught. I didn't really listen to everything that the teacher in high school said. <laughs> I always did watercolor, for instance, um, uh, my own way. My teacher always wanted me to do wet on wet and nothing else. So it's not really what I like like doing and um, that I had from the beginning, really. Um, what inspires me is, well, everything. Sounds, music, smells, trips, colors. Uh, people, uh, movement, animals. Uh, when I get an idea or get inspired, I either take a photo or I draw a thumbnail. Uh, it's better to draw a thumbnail, I think, than to write uh, your idea down on paper, but I do this as well. So, um, uh, yeah, what's uh, I'm gonna read something what she wrote um what inspires you how do you come up with your ideas and your drawings i just answered that uh, do you use some thumbnails yes and um, what type of art do you enjoy most drawing oil or acrylic watercolor uh, i uh, enjoy well i always uh, i will always enjoy drawing most and I believe drawing is the most important thing in art. It's the groundwork and base in uh, further work. So <clears throat> I uh, that will always be the closest to me. But uh, watercolor and acrylics, um, when it comes to color and paint, uh, will always be near to my heart. Uh, she... Um, continues to ask do you prefer doing serious work or fun and cute draw illustrations I prefer um, I've done cute and fun illustrations since I can remember since I was in first grade I think or even before uh, but I have phases um, where I love more serious work. It depends on many things. My mood, uh, things in my life uh, that happens either to me or, or people around me, uh, things I hear on the news, um, etc. Uh, it depends all. Um, yes, that uh, I'm going to continue to answer questions. I just uh, wait. Um, further, I'm gonna take the next question from Angela Robinson. Um, she writes, <clears throat> I'm sorry for my voice, <clears throat> I'm just a little bit rusty today. Um, she writes, I adore your art style and truly really enjoy watching your work. Thank you. Uh, what was your first loved art supply? And what are your loved art supplies now? How old were you when you were introduced to our to or discovered art? Thank you for the opportunity to ask about you. 
Um, thank you for your comment, Angela. Um, my first loved art supply was uh, Winsor & Newton watercolor wooden casket uh, with all sorts of wonderful colors. Uh, I loved it. I can show you another time. Um, I still have it <laughs> and I don't use it that much, much but um, now my loved art supply is a smaller traveling watercolor casket and uh, it's much more sensible and uh, not so nice to look at but <clears throat> as the wooden casket I had but um, yeah I also love my new aquanut uh, colors from Xanadu Art Studio uh, Micron Pigma ink pens uh, Pro Markers white jelly rolls pens uh, for um, highlights um, my Pilot Super Grip 0 0.5 mechanical pencil um, that is probably not all I love but <laughs> I I can't think of it anything else um, uh, well how old you were when I uh, with uh, how old I was when I got introduced or discovered art I answered that in the last one but I can add a bit I can't really remember how old I was since I feel I've always done it um, but I remember that I finally decided what I wanted to uh, wanted uh, to do when I was in seventh or eighth grade uh, in secondary school after after primary school of course but um, primary school I also do a lot and uh, but I I wasn't good at first I just loved to do it and um, <clears throat> I got better as I preferred to sit and draw. Uh, instead of play I did play a lot I was outside a lot but um, I preferred art and well drawing if I could uh, I had an art drawing class um, in secondary school and the teacher said that I should apply to art class school in high school so I did so there um, Next question um, from Maxi Jingles. <clears throat> uh, love your journal. Could you do a flip of it? Thanks so much for sharing all your lovely pieces. It puts a smile on my face every day. I love to hear that. <laughs> Thank you so much. I um, flip through a sketchbook. Uh, it's not finished, um, but I can show. Um, show you someday I will promise um, next is our touches all who wrote uh, how did you first get started do you have a daily schedule and a plan to do so much a day or week do you ever use references do you write children's stories or just illustrations what age do you start drawing and when did you start to use color? Uh, I am a big fan of yours and dare, um, dearly love your beautiful drawings. Thank you. I love your style. What would you recommend in getting recognized as an artist? Thank you so much for giving us um, giving this opportunity to ask questions. Also, how do you handle family, work, and life? I'd love to hear a day in your life what it's like, where you live, and the things you do that was a long one <laughs> uh, but daily schedule I've answered uh, some of these before so I'm not gonna do it again um, daily schedule plan for a day or week I'm working at home uh, so I have to be very organized and determined uh, strict on time and uh, because you can easily just follow through uh, well um, fall through <laughs> and um, uh, sit and do nothing or even watch TV. I never watch TV in the daytime 
because if you do you just get sucked in and yeah you you don't get to do anything you productive uh, I am very productive so I <clears throat> I have to be very strict and determined uh, with my time I usually am very aware of what I have to do for that day or week um, yes um, references I use references and I believe that using them makes you a good artist if it's landscapes uh, animals clothes um, many things etc it's always smart to use your friends unless you paint something a lot all the time the brain can't uh, remember everything and uh, if you if you draw it all the time it kind of it becomes sort of a routine to do it uh, and some people are very good some artists are very good to do those things and hands, animals, people, <clears throat> faces, um, if you do it all the time, uh, you don't need a reference. But if, um, if you want something to be authentic and believable, it's best to use uh, uh, photos or real life stu um, studies uh, as reference. I uh, really recommend you use reference. Uh, children's stories. I have not written any children's stories that have gotten through to a publishing company, but I have written some. Um, I've illustrated a children's book that was written by another author. Um, it got published in, two, in 2012. Uh, 2014 it got in another book as well that is in primary schools all over the country here in Norway uh, so I'm pretty proud about that um, but I want to write and I have a ton of ideas uh, but it if it's it's hard to get it uh, through and get it out there uh, you can of course do it yourself but it costs a lot of money um, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, um, getting recognized, um, right, getting recognition. I early on did illustration work for companies, uh, brochures, logos, etc. And if you get the chance, I would uh, do that. You you learn a lot. Uh, if you're young and starting out, I would go to art school. You learn a lot and you get chances get familiar with the business and get contacts. Um, I started to work in a cartoon company uh, after school and it was so much fun. Uh, I also would um, try and get uh, into exhibits and art shows if you, if you can. I've done that from early on and, and uh, do it as often as I can. Uh, to get your work out there is is important and you learn to have thick skin because you have to realize that when you put yourself out there like that with your art you're gonna get feedback that aren't always nice but that's life and you uh, really um, yeah you you grow thick skin and I think that's uh, positive uh, how I handle work, family and life. As I said, I work from home and I have a family, a husband and two boys and a cat. My day goes, uh, usually starts, my day usually starts uh, early and um, I get the kids ready for school and send them off. Uh, then I do the house cleaning, chores, every daily routine work. Um, I um, like to do all those um, things finished before I start working with my art. Um, I work with this um, and I work with my art till my boys get home again and it's homework and dinner and with my husband coming home 
um, whatever they need I do them sorry they are very active my boys with sports and friends so um, the evening goes on we have pretty hectic evenings in the weekdays uh, but um, but as a family we enjoy to be with each other together doing things so in the weekends uh, we do something together like movies shopping road trips swimming hikes uh, you name it um, we've just moved uh, to an apartment from a big house and it's in the center of this place we live and we really enjoy it but but uh, we have had to do some adjustments because of the reduce in space and we had a big house uh, but we are more apartment people <laughs> so we love this um, in my free time I used to do self-defense um, Krav Maga if you heard of it uh, my husband uh, coaches it so uh, my two boys also do Krav Maga um, I got uh, got far as well <laughs> but my knees aren't good so I had to quit uh, in the summer I play golf love that and I've started um, archery um, a half a year ago love that too so it's important to be active when you're an artist because you sit a lot uh, still um, I think it is very important to move around more um, I also do hikes uh, love to walk with a backpack all you need in your back in your backpack uh, I also sing my husband plays the guitar uh, we have play live but I'm too shy to do it a lot so uh, I have some of the songs we've done uh, on my videos um, I usually call it uh, Lasse and me <laughs> when I when we have our songs uh, yes Uh, next question is Barbara Shiarto. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, she asked uh, what she write is it would be fun to see where you work. Do you have a, dedic a dedicated studio? Um, in the house we had before um, I had an office, a studio but I often did my work in the living room where it all happens anyway. I like to be in the middle of it all and uh, having my kids around me, I am used to that. So um, I love that. I don't need quiet uh, around me when I, <clears throat> when I paint or draw. Uh, um, so, um, at my new place here, uh, where I am now, I have a desk in the in the living room, in the corner. Um, but I can show you all, uh, show you all that in a video. I have, we have just moved, or well, for a weeks, uh, but I <laughs> still have some packing out to do, or not very organized yet but i'm getting there so i will show you in another video uh, next is from nita nita henderson what is your favorite watercolor paper what ink pen and do you like best for your line work do you did you find it difficult to work on your art when your children were young uh, <clears throat> my favorite watercolor paper i usually use what i have lying around 
and uh, I have a lot because I just when I see watercolor paper or I've, I've just bought it I bought a lot and um, I'm not I haven't, I haven't really found a favorite but I like it when they are thick but not too much texture a little bit is good but not too much um, uh, line work uh, I have Panduro drawing pens. I I I don't think Panduro is Swedish. Uh, the um, company Panduro is Swedish. Uh, we have it here in Norway as well. So, but I don't know how international they are, really. Um, I know they have an arts um, uh, web uh, shop, or yeah, a shop online. Where, online shop yeah uh, I also love love micron pigma ink pens uh, as small as possible <laughs> um, and when it comes to work and my children when my kids were babies I of course had less time for art uh, we all do but I always had time anyway uh, I made time it it was never difficult I included them uh, in my work or used the time uh, they were sleeping. Um, art have always given me energy and gotten me through some tough times so it, wouldn't, it was never an issue really when they were uh, small uh, babies. <laughs> they aren't really that big, uh, they are in primary, no, secondary, sorry secondary school um, yeah next uh, well the same Nita Henderson also asked if I have siblings brother or sister uh, I have a big sister and a little brother uh, my brother is three years younger than me and my sister is th uh, three years older than me um, Next is Fianet. I sorry for the questions. I will post them uh, on uh, the video so you can see the questions for yourself. Um, she uh, writes, "How did you uh, develop your style? Did it come naturally to you, or did it emerge from viewing pieces that you like?" Do you think your style is still evolving? I adore your work. Thank you. My style. I think I'm still evolving and I don't ever want to stop growing in art. Uh, my illustration uh, art has always been with me and I might have picked up some ideas unconsciously, unconsciously here and there, uh, but I feel my line has always been my line. I don't feel it's my style, but uh, I guess it's easier for others to see that um, than for me to see that. I just do what comes naturally to me. And uh, yeah, that is probably my style. <laughs> um, yes. Next was uh, Flute Happy Harbo. Um, she writes, uh, what is your favorite medium? What medium was the hardest to use, learn? Did you like drawing as a kid and uh, did you do it a lot? As a child, did you always want to be an artist? Thank you for doing the Q&A, what fun. Thank you. Uh, my favorite medium, um, other than drawing, is watercolor and acrylics. Oils weren't difficult to learn, but very different. Um, the hardest medium I would have to say is digital art. I think, because um, I haven't had any training in it, I would like to learn more of that. Um, I have very many who want to know my 
childhood uh, art stuff but I have answered that already um, I did a lot of drawings as a kid yes um, yeah uh, next uh, is Mahiko Maru uh, is that a brush or a normal nib pro marker she asked she asked this under the the girl who didn't like pink um, I'm using normal pro markers yes um, you can ask me anything so I guess that's valid um, next is Gwen Turner who is your favorite artist where do you have uh, where do you draw most of your inspiration from um, I have a few favorite artists um, the Danish Jasper Asing uh, she, he's a fantasy artist I uh, love his work uh, Michael McGovern uh, he's from America uh, portrait uh, he, do, he does a lot of covers from for um, novels and stuff um, very good artist Paul Barbieri fantasy artist amazing he's just amazing uh, Mark Crowley, um, he has a big channel here, and do, does probably the first one I noticed on YouTube. Um, uh, great guy, and have done a video every Friday, I think, since he started, and he was one of the first artists who started, I think. It just got 3 million uh, subscribers and stuff so it uh, he does a lot of things uh, manga shibi oh, a lot of other things as well he he um he has uh, some books i have bought um my kids really enjoy them um, um kind of a cartoon uh cartoon books instead of uh, yeah magazines um also ahmed aldori uh, i don't if i don't know if i say that correctly but he also have a channel on youtube and i follow him on instagram he's uh, he's amazing too he's um you can see that he also always do a lot of training with uh, hands do a lot of drawings really great guy uh, this is to name a few um, I have an old one that inspires me from young age uh, that was Thomas Burnley uh, who did this big tree in Norwegian it's called Slindrebirki um, that inspires me inspired me from I was uh, from a young age um, I love that painting yes um, next uh, is from Instagram um, Janine Masi uh, yeah um, I love everything you do thank you two of my questions are that what size pen ink do you use for your outline uh, what size paint paintbrush do you use where do you get your inspiration uh, the last one I have answered uh, but uh, sizes on ink pens I like to use those um, who are as thin as possible so zero zero three five um, and the thicker ones um, to enhance the outline I can go up to uh, zero eight uh, brushes um, in watercolor brushes I uh, I use zero zero two for the smallest one two to four round brush uh, in the middle and the biggest is 12 round brush uh, when I use acrylics, I usually go for a flat brush uh, and it's called cat tongue. It's kind of a 
uh, bowy oh i don't know it's flat but it's round the tip is round uh, next is uh, wickedly creative in on instagram love your art thank you so do you have a daily routine yes i do i told you do you still practice a uh, technique uh, even though you have it down <laughs> oh i don't have it down everything but um yes uh i practice uh practice is important uh, you can see the really good artists uh, always practicing, drawing things again and again. Um, like I said uh, previous, Ach uh, Ahmed Aldori, um, he he is phenomenal, phenomenal, well, he's great when it comes to practicing uh, and showing that it works. Um, you only get things down if you repeat and repeat and repeat um, so yes I still do that and I believe it in it very much um, cat weasel 66 um, she looks very sad indeed yeah well, that was a girl who didn't like pink but I'm still happy with her is that good too <laughs> I would love to get to know you and your creative spirit better, so please make a video like that. Um, creative spirit, how I get the ideas, where I get my inspiration, uh, that is the main questions that go through them all, I think. Um, I can tell you a little bit about it. Um, well, sometimes I just start to draw and the ideas um, and thoughts come as I go sometimes an idea just pops into my head and I draw it down at once I always have my sketchbook with me and if I have an idea I draw it down at once uh, giving uh, me thumbnails that I can work from later or even work with further uh, to put new ideas into the old one uh, so thumbnails, I just sketch some fine thumbnails down when I get the idea. Uh, sometimes I see something, uh, get a feeling, uh, someone says something, I always have my sketchbook with me as I told you, so I, whenever I get an idea, I, I uh, get it down on paper. Uh, you can't uh, rely on remembering it. For later you have you ha I have to do so I have to get it down on paper at once uh, I also study people animals nature uh, getting out there sitting on your desk uh, all the time does not give you ideas um, I get quotes in my head um, and I draw something from that uh, I see images when people talk to me I'm very visual uh, always have been so uh, that also helps me through with my art um, uh, yeah um, I get uh, I got one more question hi Han still love your work thank you the only question I have is how you how did your style develop? It's so neat. Love your videos and channels. You're amazing. Hugs from Missouri, you say. S uh, snow hair to tree. God's Harley Girl Studio. Um, yeah, I answered that already. Um, but um, so nice to get all your questions. Um, then... I hope I answered your questions and I want to thank you all for every comment that helped me to make this video. Uh, I know you have been asking for a long time for me to do so um, and the thing that's been holding me back is my voice and my um, English that isn't the best one <laughs> but I hope you understood what I um, what I've been talking about and um, uh, also
Nails. I hope, hope you like my illustration for this video. Um, I've been talking through it through the whole video. Uh, that's um, my uh, fairy den, mushroom house, just some fairies hanging out and having fun. And uh, yeah, that is it. I uh, hope you enjoyed my video and I, s I will see you tomorrow. Lots of love for me. Bye.